Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, I'm Jonathan, your tech informant. If you have not subscribed up to now, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I release tips and solutions that will improve your productivity in your business and work area. Today, I'll be sharing with you how you can create a form without writing a code. In my previous video, I shared with you how you can create a registration form by writing code in HTML, CSS, and Java, JavaScript. But today, we'll be replicating similar registration form without writing a single code. I know most of us are not programmers, and for us to follow the path of writing code for simple form is almost impossible. So the tools we'll be using today is the Google Forms. It's an app that is embedded into every Google account. So for you to use this tool, you must have an account with Google. One good thing about Google Form is that you can use it to create simple form and also complex form. And each time a user submits a form, you can link the form to a spreadsheet at the back end. The data that is being collected at the back end, you can use it to generate a report and also create wonderful charts. So this will be useful to you if you are trying to get feedback from your audience or you want to create a survey or pool among a targeted audience. Also, you can use it to track the attendance performance in your organization. So without saying much, let's start creating forms. So the first thing you will do is to log into your Google Drive by going to drive.google.com. So we go to new, click on the new, more, Google Forms, and we'll have two options here, blank form or from a template. So if you want to create from a template, you will choose create from a template. And this will give you a pre defined or pre-designed forms of which you can use. We have the event registration here, contact information, party invite, and so on and so forth. But let's just look into one of them, e event registration. Here we have questions like name, email, organization, what days will you attend, dietary registration, and an agreement, click here. So this is how a pre-designed template looks like. For the form where the registration form will be created, we want to replicate a registration form like this. The registration form we created from our previous video. So just click on new, more, Google Forms, and blank forms. So the first thing I will be doing, I will change the title registration form then already we have email so the next question will be asking username so the next question will be asking is username so you click here username then the type of question will be shown you here we have different type of options short answer paragraph multiple choice check boxes, drop down, file, upload, and so on and so forth. So for this form, this will be a short answer. We just need the person to put in the username. Then for us to add another question, we click on this plus button here. It gives us the next question we'll be asking. Let's go back. We'll be asking for the user's gender. So here we type gender. So the option that will be required are female, they female or a male. Already we've gotten the male. So this is a multiple choice question. Then we need to add another question. The next question, date of birth. So here I will add another question. But this time I'll use age category. Category. Then this will be a multiple choice. I will have options of 18 to 25 years. Okay. 
then next option 26 total five years and the last option the 36 years and the roof oh, the last one will be both So this is the option we'll be having here. Then the next one is address and nationality. So we we'll add address. So address will be a paragraph. We we'll have the first line and the second line. Then the final one is nationality. Nationality. Then this will be a drop down or a select. We we'll have options here will be Nigeria, Ghana, India, Canada. So I think we have replicated all. Okay, let's preview what we have here by clicking on this icon at the upper right. So now we have created a registration form just in a matter of minutes without writing any code. So this is how our registration form will look like. The next thing that we do is to link this form to a spreadsheet. So we we'll now go to response then click on this icon to create a spreadsheet. So we have the option of creating a new spreadsheet or selecting an existing spreadsheet. So here we'll be creating a new, a new spreadsheet. Then when I click create, when I click create, a new spreadsheet has been created. We can see that the columns is being headed by the questions, email, username, gender, age category, address, and so on. So if I go back to my Google form, I'll see that this spreadsheet is also added into the folder. Now I will register a user and we'll see how the data being submitted will be captured into the spreadsheet. So let's preview again. Then this time, let me register myself, Joe. Gender name above 36 Lagos which is Nigeria. So on clicking submit, if I check the spreadsheet automatically, you can see that the data has been captured into the spreadsheet. So let's try another user. Email Toronto Canada. And let's click submit. And when we check the, we see the next user data has been captured. So now I will add more users and then we cannot generate a decent report okay we have about 22 users that have submitted their data so we're going to generate a report that will check how many participants are coming from the countries that are on the system so here on another column I will create so I'm going to pick the countries the participating countries Nigeria, okay. so to sort it, I will create a formula.
so here I'm going to choose the range from here down to this place so count if Nigeria so select Nigeria and then close the bracket and when you enter so we have eight Nigerians that registered on our system so to do to replicate it on other countries I'll just copy the formula and paste it so this is it I'll just go the heading so here now we can see Nigeria we have eight Nigerians we have seven Canadians two Indians and three Ghanaians. So this is how you can generate a simple report. Finally, we will create a graph for this. So what I have to do, I just highlight this report and then go to insert, then chart. Automatically, a chart has been created. So see the graph, Nigeria, Canada, India, and Ghana. So here we can change, we can change the type of graph we we'll have here. You can choose a smooth line. You can also choose a, a 3D pie chart. Wow, this is awesome. And also, you can also export the graph you can save it as a picture as a png file or pdf or a vector file so this is it you can see within a matter of minutes we are able to generate a report from the registration form we create with google forms this is just one of the best tools you can use for your business productivity or you can use in your work area so if not done this before you can take a try yeah that's it you've seen how you can create a registration form without writing a single code and also to save the user's data on a spreadsheet and create a report and also use that report to generate a chart the workflow is as simple as this so if you have learned something new in this video, I would like you to give, give it a thumbs up. And also if you have not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I release new video. In my upcoming videos, I will show you how you can register a business name in Nigeria online. Yes, without going to CAC office. Thanks for watching. See you soon.